alone at the edge of the universe humming a tune hello gamers hello geeks and of course hello gays my name is Sturx and welcome back to the outer wilds today we're doing something that you've been asking for for quite a while and it's something that i keep putting off because in my mind it wasn't particularly important we got to go look at the ship's log there you go, that's the episode. Spoiler alert, done. Skip episode, go next. Um, we're gonna get into it, because I want to read what we've done in the ship's log so you guys know how far we're getting. If we have time afterwards, we'll seek out Rebek and go and tell them everything that we've learned as well. So I don't think there's gonna be a huge amount of like necessarily exploring, but then again, this is me we're talking about. I just randomly come across things. Um, but this is kind of recapping and kind of getting to grips with stuff that we need to look at next. Because I was in bed last night thinking of all the myriad of things that I need to look at and to explore in this game. There's, there's so much. Um, like, I almost lost track of everything that we need to do. So we're going to make a game plan. We're going to think this through. I'm not just going to rush into it head first like I have been doing because that's not probably the best way of doing it. So, let's have a look. There's going to be loads of new stuff pop up here. This is from, like, when I did... When I messed up the episodes. Um, and we lost the footage because I didn't record it. Um, so we do have a lot of stuff to look through. Escape Pod 3. Okay, cool. So, this is my log as far as it goes anyway um i don't know where to start i genuinely don't know where the best place to start would be um where is us where is where is us i i was kind of hoping there would be an area that is just timber hearth there isn't it's just a big old it's a bit like that meme um, of what's his face from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, with with the the board, you know, you, you know the meme, you know the meme, that meme. Um, it's it's just like that at this point. So, let us have a good look round. Where would be a good place to start? Ah, right, here's Timber Hearth. So, what's the? Okay, so the the explanation mark is there's something new that we haven't read before. There's more to explore here at Gabbro's Island, really? But I thought we'd been thought we'd been unless there's a more to say to Gabbro, maybe. Gabbro's lounging in a hammock, found a Nomo statue. They remember dying. Um, Gabbro and I seem to be the only ones aware that we're in a time loop. Okay. That is a lie, because there is a third no mind mess. That is something that we have picked up on before. Um, so that's where Gabbro's statue is. The eye signal locator. Um, that one doesn't work. But from there, we find Rebek. Um, well, I'm presuming there's stuff to say to Rebek. And it's not telling me there's more to explore there. So that means there is actually something on Gabbro's Island that I have missed. There's something I've missed. So we need to go back there. The Southern... Ob we still haven't been to the Southern Observatory? Rebik says you can't get in from the surface, but there's probably a path to it underneath the crust somewhere. I thought we'd been... Well, that's got to be somewhere to go. Okay, so we've looked through all this. We've got the Dark Bramble Seed. Bell Spa. Headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the Core of Giants Deep. I like how it puts the... Uh, you know, it adds two and two together. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed onto my hearth, it ends up in a much bigger space filled with a fog and thorny vines. That's got nothing to do with Bell Spa, but it obviously does, so they put it there. Um, Bramble Island. What appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar camped here before heading off to the Dark Bramble. That's a good point, actually, because the Dark Bramble's kind of icy, isn't it? Because, or the planet that used to be Dark Bramble used to be quite icy. 
So did those jellyfish come from the Dark Ramble? Mayhaps. Felspar found a way to reach the core of Giant's Deep. That is, that is the one mystery I think that's really nagging at me. More than the eye of the universe, more than anything else, that is annoying me because I have no idea. There's nothing else telling us how they managed to do it. More to explore at the construction yard. Alright, I guess we'll have to go back there. Now the pro tracking module, that's the one that's lost and I think it's at the core of Giant's Deep. That's my gut feeling. Right? So I don't know if maybe they link together. Um, I don't know if there's maybe a way to, to get them together. Alright, so we've seen that now. now. Um, that's where Mallow and Privet are arguing about using the, the safe settings. Da, 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 da. Received a request from the Ash Twin Project to launch the probe. The cannon... Right, that's cr okay. I forgot that was even a thing. Yeah, that it got the signal from the Ash Twin Project to launch not very long ago. Like at all, like the beginning of the loop, it gets the signal to fire. Right. Um. But then that implies there's someone on the Ash Twin getting it to fire. But who? So all the Nomai are dead. All the Nomai are dead that we know of. Hmm. Statue workshop. Each storage unit inside the Ashwin project was equipped with a mask, the st statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues would sign to only activate once the Ashwin project succeeded or in the event that it failed. So did it fail? The central chamber inside Ashtwin is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell, but we found a way around that because we're clever. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22-minute negative time interval on Ashtwin. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to the corresponding storage unit within Ashtwin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ashtwin. We, there's so much we haven't looked at here. Um, so the high energy lab, I loved that, and um, we have actually seen everything in the high energy lab. I think someone suggested that I might have missed something, but I didn't. Um, that was on the Reddit. That was on the Reddit. Someone suggested it. Ashram tower designs. Okay, so that's because they're all unique tower designs for everything. The black hole forge. Beautiful, beautiful. I I want to know if there's a way for me to be in the Black Hole Forge when it's down. I don't know if I can maybe kind of yeet myself into it. That might be worth trying at some point. Just to see the Black Hole a bit closer. Warp Tower's alignment point is not its warp receiver. That's what we learnt last episode. Um, where Poke was working. Diagram depicting the alignment angle between a Warp Tower and its corresponding astral body. Right, so everything else here we have seen. We've read. No, my vessel warped the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble, and the warp core broke when the ship crashed into Dark Bramble. Maybe that's why Dark Bramble is kind of doing weird warpy shenanigans, while there's like almost like a pocket dimension going on. Maybe that's the warp core that is kind of imploded. It is interesting to me though, the Nomai were already on the vessel. Right? They were already migrating. They were already moving somewhere. And I don't know why. Is this just a thing the Nomai do? Do they just migrate constantly? Is it kind of like a play on nomadic? Or were they running from something? I don't know. There's too many unknowns here. A mural of an Omai vessel encountering a signal. Yeah, that was the eye. Dark Bramble ensnaring the Nomai vessel. Three escape pods evacuating. One of the escape pods is still in the vessel. We found the one on 
Brittle Hollow. We found the one on the twins. One of three, no, my escape pods never made it out. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was saying. Okay, so I've read that. They constructed a temporary settlement between if their crashed escape pod. They worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. Okay. I feel like that's almost like where we were meant to go first. I feel like this escape pod is so blatantly obvious from orbit. And if you go there from Timber Hearth, it's almost always the first thing you see with a big blue beacon. And game theory would state if there's a big old light source, it attracts you. You know, it's done on purpose to attract you. Like, if you ever notice in video games, doorways that you're meant to go through will almost always have a light on them. Because it's kind of saying, hey, look, over here, go through there. Um, I know this game is very asymmetrical. You can go wherever you want. But that was a, a gentle nudge to where you should probably find out what's happening. Um, shirt. But right, so there's more to uncover at the Sunless City. The Nomai City built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai de debated building a sun station in order to power the Ashwin project. Several Nomai oppose, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. The Nomai travel to the solar system in pursuit of a signal from something older than the universe itself. There's more to explore here. So the sun station, I think we have seen floating around the sun. Um, but we've not actually been there yet. And I don't think we're going to go there for a little while. We've done that. Definitely done that. And I'm just kind of quickly scanning to see if there's anything important that I have missed. Um... There's a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. Yes, that's the White Hole Station one. Then the one inside is the one from the Ash Twin. Solanum Shuttle. She landed her shuttle at the Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole. But I don't know how to get there. No in Brittle Hollow observed a phantom moon that would sometimes appear in the sky. No on Ember Twin observed a moon. And no named Solanum landed a shuttle. So that implies you can fly there. Have I just been doing it wrong? Maybe. They've created a device to track the quantum moon. But it's there's like a sixth place and we don't know where that is. How many planets are there? This is... There's the white hole. Okay, right. So we've got... Let's call it one, two, three, four, five. That's a the point. There's only five, like, main celestial bodies unless the white hole counts as one. Hmm. Hmm. I do want to find a quantum moon. That would be really interesting. Then we've got the caves that I found in the in the lost episode. And the lake bed cave, which I was really happy about, because I figured it out. It took me ages, but I figured it out. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Located on Brittle Hollow's equator held useful knowledge of Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. A Nomai named Shalanam was told to visit the tower. They need there's whatever I need to get to that tower, to get to the, the moon is in that tower, but I can't find out how to get into the tower. Because the tower was kind of like locked. But it wasn't locked, but like the, the way into it was broken. It's gonna bug me. That's really gonna bug me. So I mean, that's everything that we've, that we've seen. Then we've got the radio tower. Um, that I, I, as far as I know, that's like the beginning of the DLC. So I'm not looking into that just yet. I, I know I don't necessarily have to be worried about looking into it. 
But that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Right, I don't know how much time we have left, but for now, let's go to Brittle Hollow and find my good buddy, Rebeck. Okay, it's looking a little bit red. Looking a little bit red, but we should be okay. I couldn't do a whole episode without going into space. I couldn't. Couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. She's looking a little bit brittle. Is that that landing pad there? Yeah, we've, we've been there, right? We've been there. I don't know if this... I've forgotten what's down here. No, 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 no. This isn't going to take me... That's not going to take me to Rebeck, is it? It's not going to take me to Rebeck. I need to be, like, over here to get to Rebeck. I remember the thing. Because I'm so clever. Right, let's plop her down. Ooh. There. Rebeck, buddy, I'm coming for a long overdue conversation. I've got so many things to tell you, Reby. Reby baby. Baby boo. Alright, come on, buddy. I remember when you guys first saw me try to do this and how painful it was because I didn't realise I could do the jump. Look how far we've come since then. Like, the, the, the depths to which we have expanded our knowledge is mind-boggling, but we've done it nonetheless. Where's my favourite guy? My favourite them. God. I, I do think Brittle is becoming my favourite place. Oh boy. I know that's this is the intended way, but this looks scary. Ah. God, it is lucky that Rebek didn't just fall into that black hole. Hey, Reby! Right, we're gonna have to be fairly quick. Oh, you launched! That's great! Great job, you! I guess this means being out here a while, huh? Well, um, this is Brittle Hollow, but you probably knew that. Um, I'm in no hurry. Can I ask you something? Um, sure, of course. Anything you want. I learned something, Rebek. I found a Nomai escape pod. Wow! So then, the Nomai probably came here from somewhere outside the solar system, and they must have been in trouble when they launched their escape pod. What kind of trouble? Where did the escape pod launch from? I'm so curious! This is an amazing discovery. I hope we can find out more about how and why the Nomai arrived here. I love Rebek's genuine curiosity. Like, I, I feel like they're a, a good reflection of us as a character. I saw the old settlement. Isn't it amazing? Hard to believe the settlement's still standing, but there it is. I mean, it might not be now. It really makes you appreciate living somewhere like Timbarth. You know, somewhere that isn't being constantly bombarded with meteors and rocks and stuff. I saw the Hanging City. We've already talked to them about the Hanging City. I saw the Sunless City on Ember Twin. You mean there's another Nomai City inside Ember Twin? That's incredible. A whole city. And I had no idea it existed. This is great. How did they keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves by that awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai sir were ingenious, building an entire settlement underground. The Sunless City. Wow. That means there were two groups of Nomai. One that lived on Ember Twin, and one that lived on Brittle Hollow. But they must have travelled around the solar system, since no my writing could be found on other planets too. What if there's a third group inside the Bramble? I went to the comet. I went to the comet. Oh, wow. Wow. So that's how they died. That's really sad, isn't it? I know it was a long time ago, but still stars above 
It's lucky we hadn't evolved to live on land yet. To think if the comet hadn't killed them, our species might have coexisted in this solar system. Now that would have been amazing. But I guess if I hadn't wanted to learn why the Nomai disappeared, I'd never have left Timberhearth and come out here. Or had any of these adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but you know, it has its moments. Yeah. I feel that. I mean, they're not even going to remember soon. They're not even going to remember soon. And that's... I'm having a moment here! Lantern. Uh, this is just... I mean, we gave them what they wanted. Rebeck wanted to know. It's only right that we tell them. Well, for some reason, that made me quite emotional. Since we found... Poke. And since we found... Um... Can't remember their name now. Since we found the sad mural and like the sad text um, at the old settlement, since then I just feel so much more in tune with this. You know? We need to go there. We need to go to the, qu the Tower of Quantum Knowledge sometime. I, I need to know what's in there. Otherwise, I'm never going to get to the moon. And I need to get to the moon. Where's this taking me? Where is this taking me? I've never seen this before. I know I said no exploring, but we're nearly out of time, so let's do a little bit of exploring, shall we? I've not had a soundtrack in any game in a long time that has hit me emotionally as much as this one. In fact, I don't think there's ever been one that's evoked emotions as strong as this before. Oh wow, yeah, the, the whole tower is gone. So it's the sun now, but we're not actually the last star to go out, interestingly. I thought we were. I just had it in my head that we were the last, but we're not. Ah, oh, well. You can't catch me, super... No okay, maybe you can. <laughs> I was going to see if I could jump through the, the black hole in time. Ah... Uh. I kind of feel bad that Rebeck's not going to remember any of this. I feel bad for Rebeck. Like, landing down there and knowing that if it wasn't for us, they will never know. They will never have that knowledge, that the stuff that they've spent their entire lives looking for. Rebeck isn't going to get that. All these loops where we go gallivanting around, exploring. Rebek's stuck there, he's just stuck, you know. There's nothing that they can do. And that's actually really sad. Like, we're new to this. Don't be wrong, by this point we've probably spent more time in space than Rebek has. But we're new to, to Rebeck and to everyone else. We're new. This is our first day. This is our first launch. And I, I think Rebeck is a lesson in don't leave things. Anytime you think, oh, there's always tomorrow. There's always another day. 
There's always that new dawn to explore, you know. What is... What is... I'm having a moment, but I can't help but notice that red... Is that the satellite? Like, the deep space satellite? I think it is. Where was I? Yeah, I, I feel like Rebec is a lesson in don't leave things, don't take things for granted. Because Rebec is just chilling. Rebec's just vibing, and they're well within their right to. But in sitting idle, they don't realise that they have 22 minutes left. And they've just sat there. But they seem content with that. Which is like a flip side to that. Like, it's... There's a lot of contradictions and feelings in this game, like... Don't waste the time you have. But at the same time, if you do, that's okay. We'll leave it there, I think. I think that's a nice thought. That's a nicer thought than where I was going. If you're not productive, that's okay. If you take time and you just experience it and you just sit and take it in, that's okay. So take a day, actually. Ignore everything I've just been saying. Take a day. Like you've just taken half an hour for me to just sit and take this in. It's okay to do that every now and a while. Yeah. Yeah, that, that feels good. I need to remember that. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a... I'm guilty. Of always trying to fill the time. We'll keep that, guys. For now, though, that's all I have time for, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I have been Sturks. You've been incredible. I'll catch you all later for the next part of this little adventure.